What's happening everyone? It's Angelo from Daily Vita Moves. And today we're going to refine our push-up movement. So I know a lot of you already know how to do a push-up, but it's good to get back to the basics and uh, refine our movements to make it more efficient and hopefully more safe so you really reduce injuring yourself doing a push-up movement. So let's not waste any time, let's get to it. So before we get into the push-up position, also known as the high plank position, uh, we want to get the hands right. So um, you want to bring your hands about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider so you could play around with that. Um, but you don't want the necessarily the fingertips to be facing inward like this. As you notice, if I was on the ground and doing push-ups, see how my elbows kind of come out to the side? Um, we don't want that because that really makes the movement inefficient and puts more stress and work on our triceps when we could have bigger muscles working in conjunction to make the movement easier. So you also, you actually want to point your index fingers pointing straight forward. So your fingertips are going to be somewhat pointing to the side. Okay, so we want that position. So let's take it into the push-up position here using that hand position, index fingers facing forward. And then I'm going to bring my shoulders on top of my hands. So um, you might want to have somebody look at you or maybe if you have a mirror around, make sure that you're not sort of in this position. See how my shoulders are back here and then my butt's more in the air. So ideally we want to move towards a position like this where the top of our head, um, we're making a straight line through our body, through our hips and to our heels. So we want as much of that as possible and stabilize in that position. And so my shoulders are on top of my hands, keeping the body um, stable in a straight line. When I come down to do the push-up, I want to keep this forearm perpendicular to the ground as much as possible. So some people, they'll flail them out like I mentioned before, or they'll move them back like this. And you notice when you do that, again, your body sort of breaks that line and then you're putting a lot more stress on the triceps again. So when you have your forearm more in a perpendicular position to the ground, um, the pressure that you have can push through your bones and that's gonna make it more efficient than if you were to let your bones move outside of um, on top of your hands while you press, okay? The other thing, um, well, a couple of other things. As you press or lower yourself to the ground, um, you want to keep the elbows, again, from flailing out. So I want to get more um, clarification on this. The angle in the armpit when you come down towards the ground, um, you want that to be about 45 degrees, okay? Again, you don't want any of this. People that are maybe weaker will try to put their hands wider in this position and kind of do a push-up there. Um, that is also not as efficient as we can make it. So um, we'll try to concentrate keeping the elbows um, within this 45 degree angle or even maybe um, a little closer to the body if you like. So you're going to have to play around with that too. But 45 degrees is sort of a good um, angle to play around with. Okay, so let's review. Hands, index fingers pointing forward, shoulders on top of your hands, body in a straight position. When you come down, keeping the forearms perpendicular to the ground, keeping the elbows in that 45 degree position. And then you wanna let your chest or your nose touch the ground and press back up, okay? So once you have all of that, this is something, I don't know why um, I don't see this on the internet or hear other fitness professionals talk about this uh, while doing the push-up, but um, something I do um, if I have to do a lot of push-ups, say, in a workout, um, I really try to think of pushing my feet into the, to the ground, okay? So um, I'm just trying to use as much uh, whatever I have in contact with the ground to help push me up. So rather than just my arms working here. Okay, a lot of people think of just the arms working out. Okay, so if you're doing a lot of push-ups, it's gonna tire out really quick. So what I try to do is I try to take my feet and I try to 
push them into the ground. So you notice how that I'm exaggerating here, how that really helps lift the hips up. Okay, so when you're doing a push-up and you push your feet into the ground, you're gonna really feel a contraction through muscles down the line, the front line of your body. And if you have all these muscles working together, it's gonna make the push-up so much more efficient and so much easier. Okay, so you probably can't tell, um, but we'll try here. So I'm just gonna just simply rely on my arms more in this movement. Okay, and you can experiment and try this yourself. Just try to focus just using your arms. And then now I'm gonna give a little bit intention in pushing my feet into the ground. To, to one, hold me stable, okay? And then to one, push me up, okay? So it's very, very subtle, subtle but um, do this yourself and you'll see how much easier it is to do the push-up by adding the simple intention of pushing the feet into the ground. Excellent, we did it. So feel free to share this video with your friends and family. Teach them what you've learned here because when you show them how to make their push-ups easier, they're gonna thank you for it. Practice moves like this every day to help nourish your life. We'll see you soon.